Hello and welcome to the next uh, chapter of the C++ Serendipity Bookseller Booksellers project. This is, we're still on chapter 9, part 2, because this one's a little longer. And um, in this chapter, or in this uh, video, we will be creating our first reports for our bookseller store. So, uh, Let's get right to it. Okay, so here I am in my reports.cpp and um, right now all it is is just a menu. Uh, we ask, you know, for the for the user choice, one through seven, if it's seven, we exit. Uh, and uh, we have uh, some functions, but these are just stops. It basically calls them in our switch statement but it only displays, okay, you called inventory listing function. But this time we're actually going to make it into a, a, a report. All right, so um, first we have the reports header, we have the IO stream, but we will need more. We will need to include, um, we will need to include a string because we'll be working with string. And I'm also going to include the input output library. All right, so that's these two. And um, just like in the previous video, we will need the external declarations for our arrays that we are using for our book title, ISBN, and so forth. So I'm just going to go back to our inventory menu and I'm going to copy and paste all of them into our reports, including the constant for the size. So these are our external declarations of arrays. All right, so that's all our arrays for our books and we can go, uh, our void uh, reports is uh, pretty much done. There's really nothing else to do right now. And, um, you can go straight to our report for listing. Basically, we will display all the books in inventory in this report. So, the first thing, let's do a string and call it date, which will be uh, uh, today's date. All right, and uh, we go to display on a new line, we'll ask the user to enter today's, late, today's date. Now, obviously, in a real world, you wouldn't be asking user to display or enter today's date. It would be done automatically. But for now, we are simply asking the user to enter it. So uh, let's capture it into our variable. And let's display a new line. Okay, so the next thing, let's display our header. So it's gonna be the header for the for the report. So um, I'm gonna center it a little. Well, first I'm gonna put it on a, oh, not there. Uh, enter today's date. I'm, I was in the wrong line, so I'm just fixing it right back. Over here, I'm going to display the header for our report. It basically says the Serendipity Booksellers Inventory Report. So let's get on some new lines and a few tabs just to kind of put it into center more, center of the screens. So it will say Serendipity Book Sellers, and this is the inventory report. And it's just a header. So uh, let's get another new line. And uh, after that, first thing we can do is display the date. So th th that's the date that the user entered. Again, let's put some uh, spaces from the, from the left, little tabs, and display the date. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next, let's do our for loop and basically just loop through our arrays and display the whole inventory. So for integer i equals zero, i is less than size, 
and I++. We display the inventory, but we don't want to display anything if it's empty. We only want if, it, if, the, if the record doesn't exist, because we, we have up to 20 books right now. But what if we have only one or two books, you know, in the inventory for our testing anyway? We don't want to display two books and then 18 empty lines. So we'll check if there is like if it's empty, we won't even display it. We will only display it if it actually contains a book or a record of a book. So if and to do it, we'll, we'll check the ISBN uh, record in our array. So if the array for the uh, the record for the ISBN in our array isn't empty, then we can uh, display it. So basically not printing empty records. So if it is not empty, we'll display it. So we go C out. And um, if you remember these older reports, um, to format it, it's kind of tricky. So I'm just going to do like a header, like a little separation line over here. This is just the eyeball in it. I don't know how it's gonna look. We'll check it and then we can adjust it if necessary. So let's display the, now we will display the title, ISBN author, publisher, the date and the quantity and all this information for each book that is in our inventory. So let's do, oh, not B, but N, two lines and do the title and a few tabs. Again, just to kind of format it better and display book title of the index I because we are in a loop, right? So uh, that's the title. Oops. Uh, I'm pressing all the wrong keys. So uh, that's the title. So C out. Now let's do the ISBN. So uh, ISBN, this is the header. Again, a few tabs. Um, well, I'll do it it's free before, I'll do free now. And display the actual ISBN. Just so, these tabs are there, there just so it's not, doesn't get all crowded, you know, you have the header and some space and then you actually display the the record. So C out, let's do the author. And that's gonna be author TTT, there you go. And it's gonna be author of I. What's next, the publisher. And just like before, well, actually, publisher is a little longer header. Uh, so I'm just gonna do two of these uh, tabs. So it's kind of, you know, in a kind of like a column uh, format. Then um, there's the date that the book was added to the inventory. Date added. Again, this is a little longer, so just two of these. Date added an I. And now I'm going to display like the quantities uh, and the cost. So I'm going to be working with numbers. So I'm going to for, uh, get ready for formatting numbers. So I'm going to do fixed. I'm going to show point because obviously we have some decimals. So show point, I'm going to form it to the right. So it's neatly in the column, like underneath all this information. And uh, since we are dealing with prices, I'm gonna set precision to two. All right, and now let's display the information. So C out and the, it's gonna be the quantity on hand. And this is really long uh, header, so I'll, or just one one tab will do. And display the quantity on hand array. And the next one will be the wholesale and then the uh, retail. So wholesale cost, two of these. And 
and finally the retail. Oh, I forgot the new line, so it's gonna be retail, not cost but price. And TT and display retail I. All right, so that's that's our report. Now that's the this is the header. This is the actual information that keeps repeating until there is any information left. And at the end, after the for loop, we can display the kind of like the footer of the of the uh, report that basically will say something like, uh, well, it's only a new line or two new lines even. Again, we can display the empty separator first and like uh, inform the user that, okay this is the end of the of the report not b again and it's a end of inventory report all right so now we have the report displayed but it would basically just run through the screen we have to kind of pause it on the screen pause report on the screen and let the user you know to read it and then when he's ready press enter and we move on so let's uh, let's do that let's ask the user to press enter press enter to continue and since we are just pressing uh, we, we're not really capturing any any input here so we'll do the sin ignore and um, also, we'll do sin dot get. We only get the first uh, uh, first character that the user entered. Like if the user entered, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, and then presses enter. We don't want to capture any of it. We simply want to move on. Uh, after that, we'll simply display because it's already in the loop. We will go. We are on the, in the while loop here, so we will go and display the main menu again after we display this uh, report. Okay, so that's uh, our inventory. Let's do our wholesale next. And um, I'm gonna borrow a few things. I'm gonna borrow the whole uh, date thing because again, it's a report, so we will ask the user for the date and everything like that. So, uh, except Serendipity Bookseller, and this is gonna be wholesale report. And then we enter the date and uh, you know what I'm even gonna borrow this uh, actually I did already <laughs> never mind so uh, it's the wholesale report and uh, what do we need well since this is going to be you know dealing with uh, numbers and to ca to calculate the how much uh, um, our wholesale what kind of value is in our inventory we'll want to kind of do it in uh, for, for each individual uh, title of each book now we can have five uh, books of the same title so uh, and we want to format it you know we have this title let's say title one that's five copies uh, there it will display the value or the wholesale value for one copy and then we want the total value of for that particular copy or for the title so we need uh, we need two variables for do that so we will do double item sub total that's to, to capture the subtotal for each title and then we need subtotal just basically kind of before uh, kind of like a, a running total for all of them not just for each title but for all the titles together so uh, let's do a for loop for integer i equals zero i is less than size and i plus plus of course and just like before we only do it when there's a when there's actually a record of for the book so if the isbn i is not empty Again, we do not, not printing empty records. 
So if that's the case, we will go on and display it. So what do we want? We want the title, we want the ISBN, we want the quantity on hand. Now in this, uh, it, we, we had the publisher and all that. We don't really need to do that. We, we are dealing here with the with the prices. So we, just, we don't need to know the author and publisher and all that. We need the title, we need the ISBN because that's kind of like an identif identifier for the book. We need to know how many uh, there are uh, in the inventory because that's just uh, for our wholesale uh, calculations and then we can display the wholesale so to do that I'm going to do C out and uh, just like before let's format it a little bit and uh, I'm gonna format it to the left I'm gonna set the width to uh, 26 all right 26 and then after that we will display the book title we don't have to actually have a header that says book title because this is just a report for the wholesale the, all we are interested in to see is the actual numbers for the wholesale report so see out and uh, it's gonna be actually let's format it again left set width this one's gonna be smaller because it's not as wide we need the ISBN which is smaller than title in width so um, it's our ISBN and now let's display the numbers so it's, we, we're gonna go instead of uh, left we go right because we are displaying the uh, numbers and we want to kind of format them to the right into neat columns so set width to uh, six and we are displaying the quantity of hand so six is enough so quantity on hand and uh, i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do another tab over here after that because uh, i'm going to display the uh, the wholesale and then the subtotals okay so let's do set c out and we are going to do with the prices so let's do fixed show point again do right and set precision since these are prices it's gonna be decimal point so let's set it to two just like we did in the previous report anyway so let's display the first one and that's going to be set with to six and uh, let's do a little tap there and display the since we are dealing with prices in dollars so i'll display a dollar sign and a space and then then we'll display the actual the actual price of the from the array so that's wholesale and now um Let's do the subtotal. So um, let's calculate the sub subtotal for this particular uh, entry. So a, uh, not if, but item subtotal. And the subtotal simply equals the quantity on hand that we have for this title multiplied by the wholesale for this book. So the cost, wholesale cost for this book. And that gives us the subtotal for this particular book and we'll add it to our total subtotal so to speak uh, so we will just do plus equals the item subtotal all right so um, that's all within the loop for each individual title so at the end after the loop we will actually display the summary or like the final uh, final cost so you'll do C out and let's display on new lines and a tab and do the total wholesale value and the dollar sign space and we will display the subtotal. I could probably call it run, running total, but whatever. I already have it as subtotal. So subtotal and end of line. 
then we can uh, end the report so we will do just like before just a bunch of uh, bunch of lines and display after that actually do a yeah, new line after that and after that we will display that it's the end of the report so uh, again it's gonna be a new line tab and end of whole sale report all right and just like before we have to kind of pause the screen so i'm just gonna copy paste this whole thing and let the user press enter all right so uh, that's our wholesale now let's do the retail and i'm gonna copy the whole thing because it's gonna be quite similar so that's the wholesale and retail will be very close to it so we have our date we enter the date and this is gonna say retail instead of wholesale report for our for our header we ask for the date and uh, uh, for retail I'm thinking we, we should maybe uh, for the wholesale one thing I want to do after we enter the date even for the wholesale and both and the retail as well uh, we need some kind of a header on top for the report so it's basically it's going to say the, what we, what we are displaying because we over here we're just running the the values but we don't we want to see you know what those values actually mean so um, i'm gonna write title so we are displaying the first thing we displaying is the book title the next is the isbn so let's do ttt isbn then we are displaying the quantity on hand, so quantity. And let's tab it, and then we display the wholesale for that particular title. And then at the at the end, we are displaying the actual wholesale for the the, the final or the summary, the final value. Uh, you know, also before I do that before I copy it to the retail let's just do also C out and do the line again just to separate it it's like a visual separation like that all right so I'm gonna copy paste that into our retail because it's going to be the same kind of format so after the date I'm gonna copy paste it right there all right so that's our retail and uh, let's uh actually uh right now this is still just the displaying the wholesale so let's make sure that we are fixing what needs to be fixed but we have the title we still have the isbn quantity on hand but where it says wholesale obviously that's going to uh, display a retail uh, so we are dealing with uh retail um, array and over here as well retail I have to type it right Ugh. there you go so that's our retail our item subtotal is the uh, multiplied by retail quantity on hand so that's correct over here where it says wholesale again it displays retail value and end of retail report press enter to continue i think that should actually do it so um all right let's test it let's build it and see if we actually can run it or if we have some bugs in there so far so good all right we're in business all right so if i go to uh report module now and i press one it asks for the date so today is uh 
5, 28, oh, 28, 2016. And then it displays the report. And obviously, the report is empty because we don't have anything. But you can see how the format is going to be the same for the retail and wholesale. So if I go to retail, it asks for the date. Uh, and this is how it's going to be formatted. You've got the date, the title. It's going to be here, the ISBN quantity, the wholesale, and then that's going to be the total. So in order for us to actually test it, let, we need to add some books. So let's go back to our main menu, inventory database. So it's number two and add a book, which is number two. So add title. So I'll do title one, ISBN one, offer one. Uh, it's going to be publisher one. And let's say we edited it yesterday. So it's 27, 2016. The quantity, let's say we added 10 of them. The wholesale price, let's say it's uh, $5 and the retail price is 50. So that's our book. Let's add another one. So again, number two, and it's going to be title two, ISBN two, of letter two, and it's going to be publisher two. And let's say this one was added 526, 2016. Quantity added, let's say it was uh, just one and wholesale price was, uh, I don't know, $10 and retail price is $100. Why not? All right. So let's do the, go back to the main menu and check the reports. So number three, first do the inventory listing. It's asking for our today's date. And when I press enter, it lists those two books, title one, ISBN one. It just basically doesn't do really anything it just lists the whole thing uh, in a line or in, a, in the column it's not exactly formatted the right way i guess this could be to the left as well but everything is formatted to the left so i can fix it later but for now it's all right so if i press enter we go back to our main menu of the inven inventory of the reports so let's do the wholesale value report again it's 528 2016 and here you go, this titles, title one, ISBN one, wholesale price, and that's the whole wholesale value for both those titles. So 10 times five is 50 plus one times 10 is 10. So it's $60 for the, as our wholesale value for these books. And I press enter, go to the main menu, or the report menu. So do the re retail, let's try that. And here's our retail value. We got the same quantities, but the, uh, this one should say retail. Uh, so I'll change that. So it says 50. So 10 times 50 is 500. One times 100 is uh, 100. So together it's $600 for the retail value. And I go to our main menu and exit by pressing four. So over here, when it says wholesale, in our retail report, I'll change that to retail. And I'm going to go over here in our, uh, I change this to left. That was the, the number that was uh, being uh, shown. And over here, when it says cost, I can actually add after the tabs, I can display a dollar sign as well. Uh, all right, let's try it one more time. Just add one report. I'll add one book quickly and see if it works. So let's quickly do that. Add a book. So title one or 21 in this case, doesn't matter. Uh, it's just something, Bob and 528 2016 5 and list price a uh, wholesale price is 10 retail is 100 so let's go to our uh, report inventory listing let's check that if it's formatted better now and uh, it displays the uh, dollar signs that it's still on the right for some reason i think i have it too wide i don't think it's supposed to be that wide but hey, it displays okay, and uh, it's working. So, 
good enough for now and um, all right so this is part two of chapter nine and in the next part which is gonna be the last part of this chapter we will do the report quantity report cost and report age and in these all three of them we are actually going to be using pointers this whole chapter in the book is about pointers uh, so far we didn't do any <laughs> we didn't have to but in these we will so stay tuned for part three of chapter nine i'll see you then take care